and welcome. This is Ruth Hamilton and Nico of course today and I've got a couple of commissions in some magazines that are on sale at the moment and I thought I'd just give you a quick look at them. So first of all there's Creative Stamping issue 101 and Die Cutting Essentials issue 82. So I have some cards made with the beautiful layering Santa die there and I'm just going to give you a quick look through them and hopefully you'll enjoy them and if you've already got the magazine I'm sure you've already seen this because I think subscribers maybe get it just before I do but I'm always very excited when it comes and we have a look through and see the way your the cards have been photographed and right now I'll just pop Nico down he just wants a little treat see that and um, we'll have a little look there are some absolutely gorgeous cards in here and I haven't actually had time to go through the whole thing yet because I've been really busy for the past few days but I'm hoping to get a chance tonight and I'll just sit down and enjoy these but you can see that this beautiful die set that comes free with it has been used by several of the card makers through here so there's a beautiful one there from Sharon Elaine Jones and she's used these with really gorgeous Christmas tartan papers and red and blue and whatnot really gorgeous 3D cards there. Um, well I'll not show you the whole way through because I don't want to spoil the whole surprise but look here's a quick flick. You'll see some really really lovely things. There's competitions, there's um, well you know there they are you can have a look and this is just a very very quick flick and then I'll show you my photographs, uh, my cards in it when we come to those. Aren't they gorgeous? Beautiful um, circular, circular shaped cards and really traditional Christmassy ones there by uh, Cheryl Morgan and those are uh, made with festive releases from Heartfelt Creations so they're absolutely beautiful too and I always love these beautiful red and green shades now my cards for this issue oh isn't that lovely my cards for this issue were not to be traditional Christmas colours they were pink and turquoise and those type of things and I thought hmm, I wonder how that's going to look with Santa but actually I was really really pleased how they turned out. Here we go, lots of stuff and there they are. So we've got uh, lots of, I actually used lots and lots of glitter card so you can see here Ruth has teamed up this issue's die set with her stash of glitter card for this set of super fun Santa inspired makes. And yeah, I did get a bit carried away with the glitter card, but I just thought it was so sparkly with that. There's a lovely circular one, and Santa's hat, I think I've kept that sort of continued through the, the cards there. It's glitter on them all. Um, this one is a shaker card with one of the, the shaker pockets that I've used from Tonic. So they're all quite different. All the um, instructions are there, so we've got the materials listed on each one, and then the step-by-step -step instructions and there are five different shapes so we've got a circular, square, I think this is maybe a well anyway it's a standing up one and this is a five by seven and then we've got a slimline one as well so lots of stuff and another flick right through to the end look at those beautiful colours so I think actually just looking at that magazine there's lots for everybody there there are paper downloads as well I see on this there you are so I'll just read this to you at the back here. There you are, some beautiful inventive ideas from Nikki. Yeah, really lovely. But I'm just going to read this here. Bonus, there are eight papers and sentiments to download as well. So these are they on the pack here. And if you download those, they go really beautifully with the dies. So that's that one. I will put the links down below if you haven't already got. I know some of you are already subscribers, but you just like to have a little chat and a little look. Um, but I'll add my links to Craft Stash down below if anyone's interested as well. And this is Creative Stamping issue 101, another really beautiful magazine with lots and lots in it. And as you can see, there's an absolutely fabulous big, big set of stamps. There's another lovely set of 
sentiment stamps, seasonal sentiments. Uh, they're quite big. Actually, there's a couple of small ones, but I just love this big Noel there and the joy, peace and love. And, you know, it's just, I just love those because they go with so many different things. But back to this big set of stamps again. I had so much fun with this because there are so many individual ones that you can use on their own as a standalone piece. But lots of these elements that can all be used together to make a really, really beautiful background. So there you are, loads and loads to use in that. Now, on to the magazine itself. And there's a beautiful, there's one of mine on the front there, I just noticed, you can see that. Actually, that has been my favourite card to make for I don't know how long. I absolutely love that. And maybe I'll add a few photographs to show you. They're not in the magazine, but I actually took some other close-up photographs to show you how to use that. Uh, the dies, the stamp, sorry, I've used this cinnamon one and I've cut it out quite a few times and bundled it up and I've used this one and I just really love the effect of it. So I'll show you that back here. I'll just put a catch where it is first of all and hold on to it so that there we are. So a quick flick through the rest of the magazine. Some beautiful stamping ideas there. Isn't that cute? <laughs> Have a quacking Christmas. Yeah, those are lovely too. Really cute. So the, lots of different ideas from all different crafters. And there's Sarah Jackman Reed. Isn't that lovely? Look. Beautiful flowers and a beautiful circular part on the front of that one. So these are using the same stamps that I've used, but we've all used them in different ways. And there you are. And, oh. They are so cute. This actually has just arrived in the post this morning, so I ha I haven't even seen through it yet, but that is so cute, Nikki. Really beautiful. And there we go. A very, very quick flick because I don't want to spoil it for you, and I'm sure you'll just want to sit down. Take your time. Oh, look. Yeah, beautiful. Take your time and read it like I am hoping to do tonight. Anyway on to my cards here because I can explain these in more detail so look at that there you can see I have layered those up so I've cut stamped these individually and then fussy cut them popped them up in 3d foam pads and really love the way that that one turned out as I said that's my favorite card I've made in quite a while I've embossed heat embossed that sentiment there as well but these are um, masculine makes uh, cards for all seasons so they weren't necessarily Christmas cards but uh, I've got a Christmas card here and that's using the stamps from the set to make a birthday card as well. Yeah, love that one. So here we are and that's joy, peace and love. That's that big sentiment, sorry, the big sentiment from here. And that all uh, stamps out in one piece. And I have uh, just popped that up again. And this one here is actually no line colouring. So I have stamped the images on that one in pale uh, ink and not black. So I've actually done that in all of these here. Um, and I think it just gives a very different effect from what I would normally do as stamp the images in black and then color them in with a color after that. It looks really effective, um, particularly on this one probably, but that one has worked really well as well. So there you are. The last one then is a slimline one and um, that lovely little bird. And I have made little frames again and a lovely shimmer powder background for that one but I just love the way all that foliage can be used and I'm sure you're going to love it too. There you are another little quick quick flick as this is all I'm doing here but again just before I go I will remind you that if you haven't already got it the links will be down below where you, oh, look, look, where you can find that and um, I hope to catch up with you again soon. Thanks very much for watching and see you soon. Bye-bye.